my god i'm rusty i haven't done this in a really long time it's been a really long time since i vlogged um but i'm back and i'm in paris i just landed like two hours ago and i'm already in my first outfit because i'm here for fashion week i'm here for a shorter amount of time this time around i'm only here for four full days but today i have the hermes show which is so surreal i'm so grateful and excited and yeah i can't believe that i got invited to that show but here i am so i'm trying to soak everything in and then on tuesday i have chanel which um is gonna be so beautiful i can't wait and yeah i thought i would vlog a little bit of my time in paris since i think the last vlog that i uploaded i was in paris too i feel like these vlogs are interesting and i'm doing a lot of things while I'm here, so I thought I would document it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post that vlog at all, but I thought I would give it a go, and at least I have the footage if I feel like posting it on my YouTube. But let me just show you my Hermes look. All the all of the Hermes pieces are on loan. Um, I thought I would disclose this. From the beautiful team at Hermes Canada, so I have this surreal Birkin 25 in black um that's kind of like my dream bag so when i saw it in the showroom i was like it might not go perfectly with the outfit but this is the bag i want to borrow because it's my dream bag um and then i'm wearing this jacquard and leather vest it's got these like really nice leather trims and it's kind of like an aviator um vest this is joy by the way i'm staying at my friend's apartment and i'm just babysitting her dog for the weekend but how cute is he? Cutie. Um, so let me show you the full look in the mirror. Okay, so this mirror is kind of like, can't see my head, but you get the gist. Um, here's the vest. And then I paired it with this vintage Miu Miu skirt that has this like really nice kind of like box pleat at the front. And then my trusty Uniqlo shirt. This one is in a size medium for men. And then I have my Burberry rain boots. Um, it's raining a lot in Paris these days. Now the sun just came out, but apparently it's been really rainy and I thought that this was kind of like the Hermes vibe. So I thought it would go well with this look. And then I have this sort of leather cape to go on top of everything. So let me just put it on and show you. Okay, so here is the cape. It kind of like has this beautiful high neck with a snap button here and there's usually like a fur trim that goes with it but I kind of took it off because I didn't need it it's not cold enough here to have the like massive fur neck I'm not gonna put my arms in because I like the way it drapes like this and then I just have this really cute little Maison Michel um, velvet bow because it's navy and it kind of fits the vibe. I'm gonna shoot it today, so you're gonna see some photos on my Instagram. I might pop them on the screen if they're posted already. Cute little bow, kind of a preppy look slash equestrian. Um, I really like the navy actually. Um, yeah, and now I'm just waiting for my assistant to come here to help me shoot, and then we're going to the show. show it was so beautiful such a surreal experience and yeah i took a bunch of videos on this camera i love the colors it was like the classic elmes colors like 
started with some beige and neutral looks and then it went into the oranges and then the reds and then finished with some white and black leather pieces it was so so nice um yeah lots of sort of like oh it's very bright knit pieces mixed with obviously lots of leather pieces and they had really cool shoes although i was sitting quite up high and i couldn't really see them up close just when the the models were coming across the uh, around the corner and it was this kind of like from the side invisible square heel i'll put a runway photo here on the screen so you know what i mean but it was really really cool and yeah just the crowd there is very impressive I had a really really nice experience I shot a bunch of photos and now I'm just gonna edit a little bit and just cross my fingers I don't fall asleep because Julia my manager is on her way and then we're gonna have a catch-up dinner with some drinks um, but considering I slept for only two hours on the plane I am really kind of pushing through here um, that's why, I don't know, I'm going to start editing and see if I can manage to do it without falling asleep, but the light is really pretty. Outside it's getting like golden. What time is it now? Oh, it's 5.30. It's quite early, but I'll show you my view. It's very pretty. Good morning, guys. It is 9.39, but it feels like it's 6 a.m. Hence why the eye patches. I've had a pretty restless sleep. It always seems to be like that though when I come to Paris. Like I will sleep for like two hours when I go to sleep and then I'll wake up at 1 a.m. and not being able to sleep until 5 and then I have to wake up super early. So yeah. I went to get myself a coffee and a little breakfast sandwich, so I hope that's gonna give me a little bit of strength because I feel pretty tired. I've got my little buddy here, not too far. So cute. I think he wants some food. But yeah, I've got my Lise Wetier eye patches. I find that these are the best at, well, I kind of ripped the package, but. <laughs> Sorry. These are really the best at puffing my eyes so praying for the best today I have a pretty chill day but I'm going to the Hermes object presentation which are always really really fun I love these presentations it's all um, the new collection of anything that's not sort of fashion related I guess although sometimes there's like a few um, shoes and obviously like the silk the scarves and everything but I'm gonna try to film as much as I can um, they're beautiful. I'm gonna for sure do a post on my Instagram. So obviously if you don't follow me on Instagram a lot of those Things end up being posted on there But yeah, so I have that in the morning and then I'm shooting this afternoon and then tonight I'm having dinner with some friends from Toronto that are also here um, And yeah, that should be really nice. I just uh, went to walk this little guy and the weather is pretty nice, it's pretty warm, so I'm really happy about this. I'm gonna finish my sandwich and get back to you a little bit later when I don't look like that, hopefully. <laughs> just back from 
the presentation and I just saw this mirror and I thought I would show you my outfit. This is a dress I got from Louise of Aroma recently and I really like it. It's a little long, I need to hem it, but I got it um, like a day before I left for Paris so I didn't have time to hem it, but really like it. I'm gonna link it down below, I think it's on sale. And then I've got the Hermes bag, little Chanel boy in my hair. That's it. Sunday and today was a crazy day. I was running around in meetings all day and then I managed to film uh, a few clips on my camera but not to talk to you at all. So now I'm back at the apartment and I have a little bit of time before dinner so I wanted to catch up with you, tell you what I've been up to but I will put some clips of what I've done today because I film quite a bit of behind the scenes. But yeah, I went to showrooms, I went to see the beautiful Maison La Collection, which I am considering as a like an option for my wedding. Um, oh, and I forgot to <laughs> update you on that. We have our wedding date. It's going to be next year in September, back home in Quebec City, and we're so excited. So I'm officially starting to um, shop for wedding dresses and things like that. So... I love the silk dresses and the silk pieces from that brand and I really wanted to see and like feel them in real life so they were kind enough to invite me to the showroom in Paris so I went there and yeah you'll see all the clips from it. Uh, did I film there? Actually I think I didn't film there but um, I put a lot of stories um, and you can follow them on Instagram and you'll see their pieces but I really like the long sleeve very sort of simple long um like maxi length silk dresses they're super simple but they're super beautiful and i'm kind of thinking of doing that for the second part of the wedding so went there and i also went to a very very exciting appointment i have a i just touched my neck that's why i'm really red but i have a really exciting partnership coming up and it's been in the works for about a year now and we kind of did the final production meeting today and I'm so excited about the outcome of this it's gonna be something that you guys can get a product and from a brand that you guys love as well from a brand that I've been loving for a really long time and that I've been working with for many years and we're so excited to um, put this out together and I'm gonna be able to show uh, more with you and like to share more with you I mean um, but I shot some behind the scenes, so if I'm allowed to share some of the images, I'll just insert them in this vlog as well, so you'll maybe guess what it is. But yeah, super exciting. So I did that this morning, and then what else? Oh, I got the official invitation for the Chanel show, which is tomorrow. I am so excited. So tonight I'm gonna have a chill dinner with one of my friends who's also traveling here and then I'm gonna get an early night of sleep so I can be all rested and ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's a big day with the Chanel team. We're gonna have some lunch together, we're gonna have dinner together as well which I'm so excited about but we're also seeing this exhibition for their premiere watch which is I guess relaunching this year 
I'm gonna know more tomorrow, but that's my favorite piece of jewelry from Chanel, the classic premiere watch. And we're gonna learn more about it tomorrow, so I'm really excited about it. So tomorrow is all a whole Chanel day. So I'm gonna show you the invitation because it looks really nice, and then I'm gonna have to head out to dinner. Okay, so this is what it looks like, sort of like a book. And then when you open it, it's a beautiful spread with images from uh, the campaign around the collection. So tomorrow's obviously spring 2023. Uh, it's got Kristen Stewart on the front here and then the actual invite, which I don't think I need to bring to the show because it's <laughs> really, really big, um, but it's really cool. I'm gonna keep it and bring it back. And then inside there is uh, a lot of the images from, I guess, archive, Mademoiselle Chanel here and a mix of inspiration from for the collection portraits of Virginie Villard and yeah that's the invite pretty cool good morning guys it is the fourth did I say it was Sunday yesterday I'm so confused today we're Tuesday and it's the day of the Chanel show it's the morning it's really early it's eight Woke up at 7, got at least my makeup and my hair ready and then the coffee shop near the apartment opens at 8 so I'm gonna go get my coffee so at least I have my coffee before I head there I'm gonna head there a little bit earlier because I want to take some photos and yeah, I scheduled my car to pick me up at the right time we are on schedule. I was so afraid that I was going to skip my alarm, you know, because the show is at 10.30, so it's quite an early show and it's you got to get there quite a bit in advance and yeah, I was, I couldn't go to sleep last night because I was just afraid something bad was going to happen, but all good. I'm going to get my coffee and then I'm going to look hopefully a little less tired.
Hey guys, so it's much later now. I think it's about almost four. This is really dark. Better? Weird lighting, I look all detail. Um, but yeah, the show was amazing. It was beautiful. I hope you're gonna enjoy the clips that I got for you. Um, I got mostly some clips on my vlogging camera and not really on my phone. So I think I'll have some nice footage for you to see from like inside the venue and then the actual looks. The collection was so beautiful. So many sequins, so decorated. I'm in love with the shoes. I really wanna get the shoes. Um, but yeah, such a surreal experience. I'm really, really grateful for everything. We went to lunch after at uh, Café Voltaire, which I really love. Lunch was really delicious. And then we had a presentation for the relaunch of the Premiere watch. It is beautiful. It's almost identical as the original one, but uh, I would say it's a little tiny bit bigger and has like newer feature, like a newer clasp. And yeah really really pretty um, so we had a tour of this and now I'm just at Place Vendôme as you can see waiting to shoot my full look which you will have seen on my Instagram um, by now but I'm just about to shoot those photos and then tonight we have dinner with the Chanel team and that's a wrap for fashion week so I think actually I'm gonna end the vlog now because I don't really have anything else to show you uh, since my day is pretty much over and my trip is pretty much over. So thank you so much for joining. I hope that you like this little vlog and stay tuned for more Paris vlog. I don't know when I'm going to be back. I don't want to make any promises because I feel like I would break them all the time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much as always. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.